And we also spoke with our neighbors to find out how they're feeling about the results. KIDK Eyewitness News 3 reporter Cole Sams has a local reaction on this historic day. After being named the winner in Pennsylvania early Saturday morning, former Vice President Joe Biden was formally declared as the president-elect of the United States. For a lot of voters, the chance to be heard during this election cycle is coming into fruition. Voting has meant a lot to me. i got to get my first mail-in ballot put in and I've got to exercise my rights to vote for this country. And I think that's very exciting to see as it was my first chance to ever be able to vote. I took that opportunity. While Biden has been declared the winner, Trump has not yet conceded the race. For supporters of the president like David Atkinson, there is work to be done until making that declaration. I think they need to do a recount in certain states where uh, Trump was ahead in the beginning that evening after Tuesday night. So I think they just need to do a recount and if it needs to go litigation, you know, pre pre present the evidence and, and just get it right. And with record high turnout from Republicans and Democrats this election, Political enthusiasm can hope to inspire a sense of unity during these divisive times. I think the simple thing is if everything, if everybody just follows the Constitution and exactly what's in there, I think we can get along. We, you know, we can love everybody no matter what our political views are. The main thing is just stick to the Constitution and the freedoms and uphold the amendments and all that stuff. So if everybody just like me voting for my very first time, we can just get out there and say what we want to say, how we want to say it, and be heard. We'll all come together for the general populace and we won't have to worry about the smaller vote being out-trumped. Reporting in Pocatello, I'm Cole Sam.